Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Woke, and I'm back with another Dragalia Lost video. Today, we're going to be looking at the brand new units because it's finally collab time is basically around the corner and by the time you, chances are, watch this video at reset, we will be able to have it and I'll have my summons up and everyone will be summoned. It'll be a happy good time. Um, and it's, it's just like the previous, not the previous collab. I forget the last collab we had that had the Monster Hunter World. No Fire Emblem Heroes. Um, it's a part one and a part two. So I'm going to be going over the units, talking about them, giving my opinions on them. Um, if you have anything to say about them, feel free to leave a comment. If you end up liking this video, you can help me out by leaving a like, comment, and subscribe. There you go. All right, let's go. So part one will have Joker and Mona. Um, Joker is a shadow dagger. Mona is a wind sword. And Arsene is also the dragon that will be in both banners. Oh, man, that's really good art. The third year at the Shujin Academy, the third year at the Shujin Academy in Tokyo, who awakened to the power persona amidst the so-called a so-called psychotic breakdown incidents, formed the Phantom Thieves of Hearts with his friends to reform the corrupt adults who rule their society. Marking shot deals damage to enemies directly ahead and partially fills the persona gauge if the attack connects. If Arsene is active, deals damage to enemies directly ahead, and here are the damage numbers as well as skill used, skill required stuff. Persona energy gained, okay. Phantom Barrage deals damage to enemies directly ahead, reduces their damage and partially fills the Persona gauge if an attack connects. The strength reduction will not stack. When Arsene is active, deals damage to the target and nearby enemies and reduces their strength. The strength reduction will not stack. And here's what it looks like. Regular. And when Arsene is active, Looks like it's set of 50, <laughs> when Arsene is not active, it's strength minus 15%, but when it is Arsene active, it is 20%. But they both last 20 seconds. Co-op ability, agility boost set. Increase attack rate by 7% benefits the whole team. Okay, chain co-op ability, above 10 hits equals light resistance 10%. The Will of Rebellion 2 grants the Persona element curse to certain attacks. Also grants the users, a Curse. I guess curse would be the equivalent to something like Muda, I guess. Also grants the user a persona gauge and changes the shapeshift button into a persona button. Tapping this button summons Arsene. While summoned, Arsene will attack together with the user. Additionally, increases damage by 6%, increases defense by 6%, and grants the user a unique force strike that has two charge levels. At level 2, it dispels one enemy buff and partially fills the persona gauge if the attack connects. Blinding resistance 100%, 30 hits equals energy level up. Okay. Okay. I mean, he seems pretty damn good, <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, obviously, I'm a little bit biased because I'm a huge fan of Persona 5. Uh, to the point where, even though this is a Persona 5 scramble collab event, I've been calling it just straight up Persona 5. Um, and based on this banner, if you were to tell me that it was a Persona 5 event and they had actually just replaced the girl with Ryuji, I would have been basically the one-to-one -one in my mind. But anyway, um, this guy seems really good. I really, really like this co-op ability. Uh, not co-op ability. Um, yeah, co-op. Co-ability. Damn these two having basically the same damn name. Um, agility boost, I'm very interested in it. Uh, the last time I remember seeing a co-op ability where um, it had something to do with, I think it increases basic attack damage or something. Someone kind of explained to me the way the math worked out it ended up being not that big of a boost, but since this is a specific attack rate and you just go faster, I wonder how that's gonna be. I wonder how much the 7%, how much of a difference it's gonna make. But anyway, I like this. He also seems pretty um, built similar to Joker from the game. All right, next mode, next unit. Mona, a talking cat? Don't say that to his face. Who has served as the guide and mascot to the Phantom Thieves ever since Joker saved him from Sugimura, not Sugimura, Sugura Kamishito's palace. He's a mildly unhealthy obsession with Panther. I, I would call it an extremely unhealthy obsession with Panther. The Mona car deals damage to enemies directly ahead and partially fills the persona gauge. If the attack connects, changing direction is possible during the attack. When Zoro is active, deals damage to enemies directly ahead with a high chance of landing critical hits. Occasionally activates a more powerful version of this skill when used. And my brother's here, so I'm going to pause. 
All right, he got his water. Um, so where were we? So yeah, there's damage. When Zoro is active, his damage is 820. Wow, that's an extreme increase in damage, but it's less hits. Hmm, okay. Skill recharge required, same amount. Critical hit, hmm, 30%, okay. Uh, when, wait. Oh, this is with the random power up. So it's 500 with five hits. Wow, crit rates increased by 50%? It's crazy. Beckoning Cat deals damage to surrounding enemies, draws them towards the user, and partially fills the persona gauge if the attack connects. When Zoro is active, deals damage to the targeted nearby enemies and draws them together. Uh, damage is 600 times 4 hits. Um, and when Zoro is active, it's the same amount of damage. Actually, what is the... I guess that is when Zoro is active, he will also deal damage? I think that's how it means. Wind boost... To Increase wind damage by 20%? Damn! Okay. Gentleman Thief 5. If a team member is attuned to wind, reduces water damage taken by them by 10% when the combo count is 10 or higher, benefits the whole team. Guiding Feline 2. Grants the persona element wind to certain attacks. Also grants the user a persona gauge. Changes the shapeshift button into a persona button when tapping this button, summons Zoro. While summoned, Zoro will attack and restore HP to all teammates as the user attacks. Wait, what? Additionally, grants the user a unique force strike that activates the beast eye effect for 30 seconds. Beast eye will increase the user's persona gauge fill rate by 20% while active, but is removed when Zoro is summoned and cannot be granted when Zoro is active. While Zoro is not summoned, standard attacks will for and force strikes will fill the persona gauge. And freeze resistance 100% and critical damage 20%. Mona is extremely good. <laughs> That's, I think the running theme here is that all these were, like, it's not that I didn't think that they were going to be good. It's that I thought they would be, you know, good. And then it's kind of those good where it's like, oh, if I don't get them, that's a shame. If I do get them, no, less of a shame. So far, these two units are feeling more like, holy crap, I need to get them. Like, bad. Bad, bad. Uh... Let's go see what Arsene does. I'm the Pillager of Twilight, Arsene. Joker's persona, distinguished by the mask-like face and massive black wings. Where does this persona fare, and what power does it hold beneath the haunted visage? It's weird that they're not bringing up the fact that Arsene is based off of Lupin the Third, but what? Because its name is not Lupin the Third, but you know Arsene Lupin. Like Lup, it. All personas are based off of either stories or things connected to the real world, but I guess they didn't want to explain Arsene to people. Myelega. Myelgia. Deals damage to the target nearby enemies, 2,540. One hit. Attack Master Knight. Increase attack skill damage by 90%? Curse amp 90%. If the user is attuned to Shadow, increases attack skill damage by 90% and grants the... And grants attack... Persona L. He, he's he's just barely he's basically Gallic Cat Sith Cat Sith, but without being a Gallic, be way more limited. Oh man, that's yeah. He's on the same level of yeah. I need to get I need to get that guy as soon as possible. Jesus. All right, let's look at Panther now. Going into Panther or, or AKA and um. I was kind of curious how they were going to do it because she is a fire um, spear, which is the same element as Mim. Um, and it's very tough to kind of break off from the shadow of Mim. So she was either going to be crazy busted, she was just going to live underneath the shadow. Let's see what they decided to do. Also, I kind of want to read this. In the summon showcase, the following limited adventurers will make their way but are not featured. So Joker and Mona are on our banner, but they're not featured. Which makes sense. Um, wildfire. Oh, I need to read her. A kind-hearted girl who associates with the lecherous Shigu Sugura Kamoshido in order to protect her best friend. After awakening to her persona, Carmen, she joined the Phantom Thieves and resolved to rid society of corrupt adults. Wildfire grants the user fire boost and snipe effects, deals damage to enemies directly ahead, and partially fills the persona gauge if the attack connects. When Carmen is active, deals damage to enemies directly ahead. Scorringed foes take extra damage. Let's see. Special effects. Snipe. Strength plus 10%. Last 15 seconds. Does not stack. Fire boost. Flame attune damage. 10%. Last 15 seconds. Does not stack. 
When Carmen is active, damage 1,496.2 with one hit. Damage modifier 135% against Scoringed. Okay. Deals damage to enemies directly ahead and inflicts Scoringed. That's Feel the Heat, and that's shareable. When Carmen is active, deals damage to enemies directly ahead, reduces their strength, and dispels one buff from each target. The spelling an enemy buff also lowers that enemy's flame resistance. Neither this strength reduction nor this resistance reduction will stack. Makes sense. Special effect scoring lasts 21 seconds, triggers every 2.9 seconds, damage 31.1. Uh, when Carmen is active, special effects, strength minus 20%, lasts 30 seconds, does not stack. Dispel buffs, flame resistance minus, 30, minus 5%, lasts 30 seconds, does not stack. Scorange boost 5 increases the chances of inflicting in the duration of Scorange by 20% and benefits the whole team. Oh my god. Chain co-op ability flame, flame dancer 5. If a team member is attuned to flame, extend their shape. Whoa! Hello, mim friend. <laughs> Welcome. I'm. Mm, I like this. She is. Jesus Christ! They really just went crazy with these units. This is kind of insane. Abilities. Grants the Persona element fire to certain attacks. Also grants the user a Persona gauge and changes the shapeshift button into a Persona button. Uh, tapping it will summon Carmen. Additionally, increased defense by 6% and grants the user a unique 4 strike. Sure. Sleep resistance 100%. Score range equals flame damage to adds 10% to the modifier applied to damage against wind attuned enemies. Upon successfully inflicting an enemy with score range, this buff can stack up to 3 times, and after activating this ability, will not activate again for 5 seconds. What the fuck? These units are all great. I don't know, I'm the, unless I'm missing something and they're, the way they attack is bad or something, but all these dudes seem extremely worth having and unique in special ways that would be like an actual bummer that they're action, that they're so limited. So, so let's talk about the, the elephant in the room here. This is a part two. So I think the way it breaks down is that, let's see, availability period is 1.30 till 2.05. And then from 205 to 211, uh, it's Panther's Banner. So let me see. 130. So we have two free multis with Anne, right? That's the way I think it breaks down. Let me look at the, the daily free tenfold summons. So this goes from 130 to 26. That means we only get... One or two days of Panther summons. Hmm, that's tough. That's tough. This is going to be very tough. Because again, I, for me, I'm going to be getting all these units. It didn't matter if they were good or bad. I'm getting them all. Um, but it also might look like after this, I'm going to have to go into extreme saving. Because if I reach sparking with any one of these characters, I think that's... I'm, I'm basically DOA. Because I don't think... Um, yeah, I just don't know how I'm gonna how that's gonna work out at all. It's tough, but I'm glad these units are good. As a Persona fan, I was gonna use them regardless. So that's the end of today's video, everyone. Tell me what you feel about them. I hope you saved a lot because it looks like you're gonna be needing a lot of it. So <laughs> till next time, everyone. You guys have a good day, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.